Long before the Changemaker Award existed, Maggie Calkins was already intent on making change. In the 1980s, when nursing homes, especially for those with dementia, more often resembled warehouses than homes, Maggie set out to improve the quality of life for elderly people. Earning her master's and PhD in architecture from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, Maggie began turning her interest into action. She received an AIA Graduate Fellowship for Design Research, she earned multiple research awards, and in 1988, she published and broke new ground with her first book, Design for Dementia, Planning Environments for the Elderly and Confused. In the early 1990s, Maggie supervised design and research connecting environment to outcomes at the Corinne Dolan Alzheimer's Center at Heather Hill. Display cases to assist with orientation, highly visible bathrooms, a functional residential kitchen, and fewer residents per room were just a few of the innovations that quickly became best practices. Like many others, Maggie found her people at UMW's Institute on Aging and Environment, where she served as a senior fellow. Like Paris writers in the 20s and Motown musicians in the 60s, everybody was there a cohort of environment behavior researchers who are today widely recognized as leaders in their own right. She collaborated with Institute founders, Dr. Gerald Weisman and Dr. Uriel Cohen on groundbreaking research books and design projects, most notably on the professional environmental assessment protocol, which would become the foundation of person-centered care. At Kent State for nearly 30 years, she found a hungry, eager and growing audience of students new thinkers who she prepared to join her mission for change. Her appointment as the first Elliott professor and director of the Elliott programs in healthcare design was a hallmark. One of her students observed, I quickly became familiar with the pioneering trail that Maggie was blazing. She was everywhere in the field of environmental gerontology and her work was significant. Maggie's been on the forefront of regulatory changes to the Life Safety Code and International Code Council codes. She championed substantial revisions, overcoming outdated thinking to make way for new life-enhancing designs. Her involvement and impact multiplied as the executive director of the Mayor Rothschild Foundation, as a founding member of SAGE Federation, and as a fellow of the Gerontological Society of America. Her latest book series, Creating Successful Dementia Care Settings, addresses a range of physical, social, and organizational issues. Today, as the president of Ideas and board chair of the Ideas Institute, she continues to consult and collaborate on research and education projects to further advance the creation of supportive environments for older adults. Like Maggie's energy, passion, commitment, and love for her goldens, the list of her involvements, contributions, and changes that she has fostered are seemingly endless. Her pioneering and internationally recognized work and research have transformed environmental design and standards of care for older adults. As a visionary, advocate, and commanding voice in advancing person-centered care, Dr. Culkins has initiated a new paradigm for memory care. And through her generosity and mentorship, she extends her knowledge and encouragement for others who desire, like her, to be the change.